Good morning. So here I am about to continue on my Ruby Marathon. I kind of buckled last night about 9 o'clock. I was just too tired. It was a massively long day for me yesterday. I was up very early in the morning, had a very tiring day at work. And then, yeah, just watching Ruby all night, I just kind of buckled, especially after a few beers. I just wanted to go have a nana nap. So this morning, I'm going to dive into Chapter 11 of Volume 6, The Lady in the Shoe. We just watched Stealing from the Elderly last night. It ended with Blake and Adam about to have a, a full-on battle. He'd been stalking her and made his sudden appearance right when Blake was supposed to be doing her part of the plan. So, let's dive in. Oh, I didn't want to go to bed last... I didn't want to stop watching last night. I was just... I just couldn't. All right, you ready? Three, two, one. Go. Oh, I want to be in the fight. Where's the... Where's Blake and Adam? You want to fight this thing? That's cool. They fought giant monsters before. This is just a tiny old lady. In a big robot suit, though. One very big robot. You little spider roaches thought you could creep your way into Atlas. Well, let's see how your resolve holds out against the might of the Elysian military. She, she's gonna be tougher than she looks, man. Look at this thing. Shit. Missed? I was lucky. We need Voltron. Or Genlock. To come and help. Oh, Ruby shot the mi- Oh, Ruby shot the missile! Ha ha ha! Uh-oh. Oh, wise. Very impressive. Yeah, that's right. You're up against Team Ruby. Ha. That was close. We need to figure out how to stop Cordovan and protect the airship until we do. You need to get into the robots to focus on. You mean us, don't you? Look at that thing. It's not designed for small enemies. It's probably meant for giant grim that come in from deeper waters. We can turn our size into an advantage. Yeah, get in it. We just have to be smart. John. Maria, can Tactician. you the ship out of harm's way? Now they can take my driver's license, but I won't let them take this ship. <laughs> Very reassuring. I'll be more useful if I go with her. From up high, I can try to spot a weakness. Well, he's not the only one who can grab a bird's eye view. You said you needed me on the ground? Not exactly. I love how Ruby's getting so strong in her leadership. Now people are actually asking her. Slow mo running. Ha 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 ha! Wow. Precision aim. Casey Lee. She does so much music for this show. She's running up the missiles. <laughs> Sick. Uh, Frozone's got nothing on wise. Distraction. Uh, they got love hearts on them. That's so cool. <laughs> Surely you knew Atlas was the father of hard life dust. Or do lesser kingdoms simply lack proper education? Oh, that's a big gun. Don't hurt Sean. Go crow. Crow attack. We're gonna have to get up close and personal with this thing. I'm getting swatted like a bug. Oh. Oh man, 
when she... Ruby, no! Oh, nice! Using the Lance Grim. <laughs> Take a seat. Oh, she's angry. She doesn't know who she's up against. Oh, that's convenient. Oh, hold on, Ryan. <laughs> They're causing some damage. <laughs> Hi. Wow. If I hadn't caught you, I knew you would. <laughs> Should have been very wet. Oh, the animation is so good. Ren and his cold toes. Those shoes aren't made for this climate, man. Gotcha. What'd you find? Hey, buddy. Shield well, generator. Right then. Lucky you had the big, the big title there, so they knew exactly what it was. No, no, no! Now you're in trouble, lady. <laughs> My man! So her and Ren are a thing now? Is it like officially? I mean, I see they're holding each other in the credits. Like Ren's sitting in the chair and Nora's got her arms around him. They're a thing. Oh shit. Wow. Amplified her aura just in time. I have my headache though. Oh man, oh shit. <laughs> now what you gonna do though? Now she's just a sitting target. Oscar to the rescue. Shoot her. Nice wave animation down below. Oh, fish in a barrel. Attention away. Oh, she caught the missile. Oh no! I thought there was going to be credits there for a second. I was going to get very upset. I was wondering where we we're going to get the, the Blake and Adam battle. Oh, this is epic. Can dance. Oh, nice work. This is cool. So Blake's lost her jacket, she means business. I like Adam's new look. I like this mask much better than these stupid other ones. Go Blake, go Blake, go Blake. Shut up, behave. Shut up, Adam. Oh crap. You're delusional. 
<laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Oh, oh crap. Come, Yang. Go, go, go. Oh, and the mask is coming off. People hurt me long before we met. All sorts of people in all sorts of ways. But no one hurt me quite like you. You didn't oh, shit. leave scars. You just left me alone. You're so, a dick. Tell oh, me, Blake. She can, she can hear Yang. How does it feel to be alone? How does it feel to be fugly? Oh, she wasn't there. Ha 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 ha. I'm not alone. Oh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> oh, Bumblebee. Epic entrance, though. Superhero landing. Here's Yang. <laughs> oh, I got chills. Legit, legit chills. Yeah. It's okay. Catch your breath for a second. I could hold him off. She's right, Blake. It's okay. We have unfinished business. Oh, fuck you. Ah, oh, for an eye, but then you'll be blind. He's fading her, man. Hit her harder. Hit her right ahead. Oh, nice moves. Oh. oh, he's good though. His semblance is like yours. He absorbs energy through his sword, stores it up, and then sends it back when he's ready. Well, shit. Dish out damage without having to feel it. That's just cheap. Yeah. Ooh. Hello Leave there. Us alone. This is your last chance. Yeah, let it go, bro. Walk away. No. <laughs> Do you really believe that? Or are you just trying to scare me away so you won't have to die trying to protect her? She's not protecting me, Adam. And I'm not protecting her. Yes! She realizes. We're protecting each other. <laughs> oh, that was. That impacted me a little bit more than I thought it would. Finally! Oh, they're tight again. Oh, that choked me up a little bit and I got goose pimples man Woo! that was a good one of course so cliffhanger <laughs> wow that was really really cool team ruby for the win how good are they going shield generator I just love it it's like a, a hidden base in a corny movie secret hideout here big arrows <laughs> Oh, that was epic. Awesome. Okay, so we get Adam's grand unveiling. So he's obviously had some bad experiences in his previous life before Blake. He's looks like he's either been branded or or scarred, like they they've cut into him, but um, or something's happened to his face. So that's why he's wearing the mask all the time, just covering up his wounds. Question is though, like with the other white mask, it looked like he had eye slits, so he could see. But how how was he seeing through that black blindfold then? I mean, I know if you put material up close enough, you can see through it. There's some kind of transparency, but not enough to be like a, a warrior ninja like Adam is. So he's a faunus, right? I don't know what kind of faunus he is, though. He's got those little black 
ear things. So maybe that helps him. Maybe you can tell me in the comments down below. But yeah, I've I've always kind of... Have, Ruby does their villains very well. I mean, you hate them with a passion. But at the same time, you love them dearly. That's quite a conflict, it really is. Like with Cinder, when she killed Para, man, the whole Ruby community turned against her, I bet. I mean, I just, I absolutely hated her. And yeah, I, I, I yeah, horrible, horrible thing that she did because we all loved Para so much. And when she reappeared at the beginning of this volume, though, like we all thought she'd been killed by Raven, when she appeared back here, I was ecstatic to see her again. It's weird. I know, because she's horrible. And Adam, he took Yang's arm. He's been torturing Blake for years. He's a complete creep, jerk, asshole. And yet, I love him. Why? Ruby. They write their characters so damn well. They're so nuanced. There's so much more to them than just black and white. There's shades of grey and a whole rainbow of colours as well. So every character is just amazing and so individual and so unique and the stories are beautifully written as well and all the the voice work and the animation everything just comes together so beautifully and you just fall in love with the the story and the show as a whole good and bad you just truly get swept away with it and I, I know through twitter and some feedback in my comments that there is a really toxic side to the ruby fandom i don't get it i mean for me like i've only been watching ruby for like almost a year now and I've, I've been loving every second of it. But for there to be any hate whatsoever directed at this show, I don't understand it. I mean, sure, you get passionate about characters and stories, and you have you have fanfic and expectations and, and wants from the show. You want things to happen, and it might not necessarily go that way. But is that any reason to just turn on a show and to be horrible and mean and call out others that do enjoy it? I mean, I don't get it. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm lucky. I've been able to avoid all that shit honestly i've just i see like the bare minimum of it but i know it exists but for me the, the show is just amazing from that very first trailer up until this point two episodes away from the finale of volume six and there's been not a dull moment that really hasn't and i've just appreciated and loved everything about it i mean sure some episodes aren't as exciting as others but the series as a whole would be lost without any of the episodes they really would be so gonna do the next couple episodes in a minute it's a nice monday morning here i've had my coffee and my breakfast got a few more mangas that i've purchased i've gone gone and opened for a manga video so um yeah i'm having a great day gonna try and do a few more anime reactions today but ruby is my top priority i want to get it done and um get it up to you guys because volume seven is is coming anyway guys catch you in the next one thanks for watching